Welcome back to my YouTube channel, the best place for avant-garde makeup and high-end retouching. Today I'm going to be showing you how to retouch skin in five super simple steps. If you're new here, let me quickly introduce myself. I am a professional graphic designer and have been for the past eight years. I'm also a self-taught makeup artist. On top of having a regular nine to five job where I work as a senior visual designer at a tech company here in Silicon Valley, I also have this platform, this channel to educate people like you on how to edit your own photos. So if you're a makeup artist, an aspiring influencer, a graphic designer, or a photographer who wants to take your photos to the next level in five simple steps, then keep on watching. Before I begin, I wanted to put out a disclaimer and say that editing is a great tool to make your photos more professional and fix blemishes on the skin. However, people edit completely differently and have different uses for editing. For example, some people might want to edit more realistically and some people want to edit more like a digital painting. My work is more of the latter, which we'll see in some of the examples I will show later on in this video. With that being said, let's get right to it. The first step is just to open Photoshop and click on the background layer to duplicate it two times. The second step is to add a Gaussian blur to the second layer. You can do this by clicking the filters tab up here and then setting your Gaussian blur to four pixels. I usually keep this anywhere from three to five pixels depending on how big my pores look relative to the size of the entire photo. The little trick that I use is that if it's a closer shot, I use a five, and if it's a wider shot, then I usually go with a three or a four, but I would just pick five pixels if you are unsure. The third step is to set a high pass on your third layer. In order to do that, you just have to go back to your filter tab, scroll down to high pass, and set the high pass to whatever your Gaussian blur was actually set to, but subtract one. So if you picked five pixels for the previous step, then you wanna do this at four pixels. I ballpark it by looking at how detailed it can capture the pores. You don't wanna raise the filter too high so that it randomly picking up larger outlines like your body, but not your pores. And you don't want it to be so low that it's picking up all the skin texture so that it would make your photo super sharp later on. So once you hit okay, then your photo will turn into a cement gray. And what you're gonna do from here on is click on the existing layer and change the blending mode to linear light. You will know you did this properly if your photo goes back to its original state because the Gaussian blur and the high pass has canceled each other out. Now you have a perfect setup to retouch skin. The fourth step is to click on the second layer, which is what you set the Gaussian blur to originally. And you're gonna take the lasso tool and set your feathering, which is how soft the edges are, to 20 pixels. Now you're gonna scour your photo and look for areas of the skin in which you want to even out the skin tone. For example, I'm gonna smoothen this particular area out. I'm gonna draw an enclosure around it using the lasso tool, go to the filters tab, click on the Gaussian blur, and set it to 20 pixels, and voila, the skin is now evened out. Easy, no? Now go through the rest of the photo on all the problem areas and fix it until you're fully satisfied. And final step is to use the third layer and fix the skin texture. You can do this really easily by clicking on the healing brush, setting the mode to replace, and you're going to make your brush size small enough to pick up really fine details such as zits, blackheads, wrinkles, strands of hair, etc, etc. What you don't want to do is expand that brush size too big because the corrections on the skin texture is going to be very obvious. The healing brush basically takes the other part of your skin texture that you think is better than the part that you're trying to fix and it matches and merges with the existing skin texture there. So all it does is it removes the blemish that you're trying to get rid of. While step four taught you how to even out your skin tone whilst preserving your skin texture, 
This step teaches you how to edit skin texture whilst preserving your skin tones. What you've just done is called frequency separation, which is the key and the secret to professional skin retouching. Yay! If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to hit that subscribe button and notification bell because I will be teaching you how to do color correction in my next video from Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom. And you guessed it, five easy steps. And if you learned anything new from this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and also share this knowledge with somebody else. As usual, stay creative everyone and I will see you in the next one. Bye!